Hello, it's a nice Sunday afternoon on the weekend in the summer, so I thought I'd show you some interesting places to hang out in downtown LA. It's especially convenient to come here on a Sunday because parking is free. Uh, other times I come on the train or a bus, so I'm going to start here at Union Station, which is the hub of the trains and bus systems here. There's a big mural on the east side of the station. Here's the west side of the station and the historic ticket concourse. They have an aquarium and a nice outdoor waiting area in the courtyard. Here's some interesting history of the station, but I was annoyed by the minor grammar error. See if you can spot it. It's actually still a fairly busy station, and I myself have done two long distance trips from here, one to San Luis Obispo and another to Salt Lake City. I chatted for a bit with this woman from Texas who gave her house to her son and is traveling up and down the West Coast for a few months. She said her name is Light. It feels like the pandemic is uh, ending here in California. I went to church this morning with no mask and no social distancing, and a lot of places are opening up and it feels much more normal again. This is an example of one of the kinds of interesting places I like to find in downtown LA. This is a outdoor patio area. A lot of these buildings have these patio areas. And as you can see, they're pretty deserted on the weekends. And so I like to come down here, read a book, and just enjoy the weather. There's some cool public art by the YMCA, and I like how this building looks two-dimensional from this angle. I really like the round architecture of the Bonaventure Hotel. They have these cool seating areas that are kind of hanging out over mid-air, and they have all of these circular outdoor elevators that are cool to ride into. I like this shopping center right in the middle of downtown. Um, it's uh, 7th and Figueroa, and they have this uh, food court with lots of interesting places to eat. And so this is another of my favorite places downtown. Oh yeah, that sculpture reminds me. In other news, there's a bunch of remodeling going on at home, including some new floors, new lighting, and painting. I'm sure it'll look great when it's all done. Another thing I've been working on lately is another Matthew Weathers teaching video. This is about uh, flat earth evidence, and so maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek here and talk a little bit about the behind the scenes stuff. Here's a picture from outer space giving evidence for the earth being a globe. Well, that's CGI. Okay, fine. Here's a picture from 1972 before CGI existed. They faked it some other way. You'll notice that boring background, and that's because I was filming at my work office since the remodeling can make things kind of noisy at home. Here at the house because there's some things going on in the corner. But even with a quiet spot, lots of other things can go bad. Usually it's just me saying things wrong, but in this clip, I accidentally stepped on and broke a mic cord, so this is the only sound from the recording. I got that worked out, but here I had taken a drink of water right before filming, and that spot of water shows in the light, and I couldn't unsee it, so I re recorded it. I didn't redo this though. You won't notice, but I did. I filmed this after I had been to the dentist and my face was still numb. And my smile was a bit crooked. I didn't even notice it until editing it later, but I decided it's not that big of a deal, so I left it in. I tried a few new things with this video. For example, I'm using a lot of stock photography and also a lot of audio quotes from Flat Earthers. I think it turned out well. I hope you like the end result when it comes out later this week. So those are a few things going on with me lately. Let's go back outside to finish this video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Last I'll show you that building back there. It's one of my favorites. I just like the architecture and the way that it looks. But yeah, I hope you have a good summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere anyway. Um, and if you can't travel very far, I'd say go out into your own city and see what's there. All right, see you next time.